It is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Thursday. It's the 9th of June. This is the play of the day. Before we get rolling, appreciate it if you guys take a minute to smash that like button, give us the thumbs up, get subscribed to both of our YouTube channels, the Winners and Winers YouTube channel and the Max Wagers Network YouTube channel as well. Great place for content is the Max Wagers Network. You can catch a lot of great shows, including a couple that I do that I'm pretty proud of. I do one with my pal Chris King at 2 o'clock called Just Parlays. And uh, then my buddy Scott Reichel and I take over from Studio B, bringing you back to the window. We do that every day at 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. So make sure you check those out if you get an opportunity. We do them live in real time. Talk to you guys in the comments section. Lay out our best plays and uh, have a little fun along the way. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing today. What you got cooked up? You got some killer plays? You got some baseball maybe? Maybe a little hacky, some soccer, whatever it is. Put those plays in the comments section. You get them right. Hey, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. So without further ado, let's take a look at yesterday's action. Guys, uh, we talked about this uh, Golden State third quarter thing. And no, it doesn't make any sense when a team gets outplayed for the uh, for the other three quarters. Uh, that was the... Uh, Lost the first one by 11, the fourth one by 12. I think they lost the second one by one. But hey, it's the third quarter, kids, and Golden State outscored them 33-25. I don't know why. I just know that it is. So uh, that was a nice cash for us. And that was a lonely, lonely fucker today because we had the Toronto Blue Jays against the Kansas City Royals. And, you know, every once in a while, or about, about once a week, every 10 days, the Royals will play a game like that. And you watch them and you go, why the fuck can't they play this way all the time? But they don't. That's what makes them terrible. But they did play well today. Both the hitting and the pitching were there. They uh, Brady Singer struggled a little bit. They uh, ended up, Kansas City got out to an early lead, 3 nothing. Toronto tied it up. And uh, I know a lot of you guys took a live play there when they were down 3 nothing. I loved it. Uh, they caught up. It was 3-3. I felt like a fucking genius. And then Toronto pretty much didn't score again. Well, they added one in the ninth when it didn't matter. So, uh, yeah, Kansas City gets the win there. We had Seattle-Houston under 8.5. Of course, that one lands 9. Thank you very much. And we had the Cubs-Baltimore that got rained out. The real heartbreaker was our farm play where we had the Marlins on the run line. Sandy Alcantara, Alcantara, if you will, it was nine innings of shutout baseball. Uh, Marlins not only can't cover the run line in nine innings, they can't win in nine innings as they have to go to extras. And that's where, uh, you know, late innings is where having the home team covering the run line, it hurts you, uh, especially with a team like Miami, who isn't known for a ton of homers. And they didn't get one as they did. Uh, they did put up two runs, but only, only after they had given up one in the, uh, <laughs> in the top of the ninth. So, yeah, not ideal. Just uh just brutal. So uh Miami wins it two to one. And uh, you know what? We had most of it right. That Alcantara would be very good. He was very good. The offense very, very bad. So that's how that day goes. So we're gonna take a look. See what we got cooked up for today. Guys, we did this a couple days ago. We're gonna have to do it again. We're getting the Boston Red Sox plus money. Going up against the LA Angels. That's right. Boston Red Sox plus 115, even if you will, against the Angels. Currently, the owners of a, I believe, 14 game losing streak. It's going to be Nick Pavetta against a Shohei Otani for the Angels. Guys, it's been a tale of two seasons for Nick Pavetta. It's been uh, the worst of times. And when it started, first five starts, he was absolutely dreadful. ERA of 7.58. Whip a 184. Not surprisingly, Red Sox lost all five of those starts. But the weather got hot. So did Pavetta over his uh, next six. 132 ERA, 0.73 whip. And he is five and one in those starts. The only loss being a tough luck loss when he gave up no runs. So it's almost the opposite for Otani. Uh, he started very well. First five of his. Uh, of his season, 308 ERA, 103 whip, both fine numbers. LA was three and two in those five games. But since then, he has been uh, what do you call uh not good? Not good. Uh 5.14 ERA, 129 whip in the uh in the, the uh, last four. And he is uh 
Angels are 0 and 4 in those starts. Um, he got some, he pitched good enough in the first two of that string, but uh, Angels couldn't help him out either on offense and one game the bullpen shot the, uh, crapped, crapped the bed. But the last two innings, uh, the last two losses, rather, he has earned those uh, with his uh, with his pitching as he has given up nine earned in those last two covering nine innings. You guys know the drill. It's going to end someday, but I like this pitching matchup. I really do. I'm going to take Pavetta. I'm going to take Boston. Uh, I'm going to take the team that uh, has scored runs, uh, scored run yesterday and uh, uh, scored a run the day before. I think we've had, we had two, two one nothing shutouts in this one between the uh, extra inning blow up. I think that's right. Anywho, yeah, I'm taking Boston, guys. I got I got to take Boston plus the money. If the Angels jump up and they decide this is the time to win one, you know what? You tip your cap and you move on with your life. But we're getting it in with the best of it right here. Give me Boston plus the 115. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, kids, you know how I did. Let's check in and see how uh, y'all did, shall we? Sean O'Reilly going 1-0 and plus 500. He had the Phillies on the money line. Derek Saunders going one and four and one rather plus two fifty seven. Uh, Daniel Daniel Angelero he went one and one. He got juiced. Uh, David the Italian he put the bat in by a mistake over the weekend. He got the Golden State Boston over two sixteen. Uh, let's see, did, did, that, did that push? Oh, it did push. I thought I thought he had it two fifteen and a half. My bad. Uh, David pushed on that one. So rewind. Uh, Zewa Carter goes 1-0 plus 500. He had Boston minus the two. I did like the Celtics. I did take that on the shows. Uh, I thought I, I said I wanted to thread the needle, take Golden State in the third and the Celtics to cover. That's what happened. So I wish I could be that smart every game. But your capper of the day, speaking of smart, it's this guy. It's Stephen the Godfather, Godon. Uh, you know, he may ask a favor. One day, that day may never come, but if, if, if Stephen the Godfather asked you a favor, you should probably do it. Hey, he had a great day. He went 1 0 plus 2785. That's a three team parlay, kids. How about Kansas City plus one and a half? Didn't need it. How about the Angels plus one and a half? Yep, needed every one of them. And Arizona on the money line plus 557. Yeah, very nicely done. You put five units on it, comes out 2785. Stephen the Godfather go on. You, my friend, are the capper of the day. Well done to you. Well done to the rest of you that made a profit today. As for everybody else, you know what? Thursday, it's getaway day. Not a great card. Got a lot of early games. Got some off days, but we take what we can get. Got a little hacky. So whatever you got, let's cook it up. Let's make some money. All right. You guys take care. Make sure you check out Scott and I tomorrow afternoon at three. Check out me and Chris at two. And if you can't make those, make sure you check me out right here. Same bad time, same bad channel. As I'll uh, I'll do my best to pick out a game and help you guys in that journey to head back to the window. Take care, everybody. We'll